Hey everyone, welcome back to Desert Fox Gaming. So today we have two of the Pulte Dice V boxes. Here is the first one, and here is the second one. So we'll be opening up both of these today. Should have probably ordered these a little bit sooner because they were definitely were not as expensive as they were now when I bought them. But you know that's how it goes. Sometimes you don't buy it, and then you regret later, which is what happened this time. Anyway, let's go ahead and open these up. We'll do one at a time. If I can open the box without giving myself another paper cut or cardboard cut. Yep. All right. Let's just do it the easy way. Sorry, pull the key box. This is not a smooth opening. <clears throat> so this box comes with four booster packs. It looks like they're maybe are all from the new expansion. Um, the, it comes with the Poltergeist V card, one of the promos, and also a jumbo size card. So let's see, Poltergeist V, its ability is Teapot of Surprises. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if it is knocked out, choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals that card and puts it on the bottom of their deck. Hmm. Well, that would uh, mess with somebody's hand, at least for a little bit. All right, let's just get these all opened here. Tea box. Tea. The evil tea, come here. Oh. All right, well, oh. It has one of those. There we go. That's easier. All right, so we'll put that back there. Take the jumbo card out. Let's see, nope. We have two from Rebel Clash, one from Sword and Shield, and then one from XY Steam Siege. All right, I bet the other box is going to be the same as well. Hmm. This is much easier to open this way. Maybe I should have been opening all the boxes like this. Yep. Yep, two of a clash, one sword and shield. And one X5 Steam Siege. All right. Let's get these all together here. The wonderful gaming setup. Straight. It's not straight yet. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with the X5 Steam Siege. And then we'll go on to the Sword and Shield and then the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. So, <clears throat> I don't know what that is from, but there is a Volcaron, Volcaron, that is water and fire type. And I got trounced by a Torchic because of that thing's ability, which was not very good. But let's see, we got a Litleo, a Meryl, Ponyta, Dino, Litwick, a Reverse Hollow Tangela. This is... Oh my god. Literally, this is like the same exact card that I was just talking about. The Vol Volcanon EX. Steam up. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a fire energy from your hand. If you do, during your turn, this your basic Pokemon, fire Pokemon, attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, so what the person had done was they put this card, Volcanon EX, they used its ability, Steam Up, on the Torchic. And then they had a stadium card. I don't remember what it uh, what it did, but basically the tor the Pokemon any Pokemon I think it was like any Pokemon that have less than like thirty HP do double the more damage or something like that. So the damn Torchic was hitting for like a hundred and something damage and was just like knocking on my Pokemon before I could even attach any energy to them. And then I lost and I was didn't even know what ha what happened. Torchic power go. 
Anyway, moving on. We have a Sheldon, the Ambipalm, Tangrowth, and the Code Card. All right, second XY Steam Seed. We have a Clink, a Mankey, Flungus, Nidoran, Oshawott, a Reverse Hollow Ninja Boy, and a Hoopa. Flaffy, Monferno, Anorith, and the wonderful code card. Was there energy in that one? You know, I don't think there was energy. Hmm. Interesting. All right. On to the Sword and Shield. Must not have noticed. I didn't realize. Hmm. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. I do definitely do not need more energy. All right. Ooh, that one has been like scuffed on that side. Fighting energy. We have a Drizzle, a Bisharp, Evolution Incense, a Galarian Meow, Sizzlepeed, I need more Sendiscorches, Wooloo, Grookey, Sobble, Scorbunny, nope, a Reverse Hollow Maractus, and a Galarian Rapidash. All right, second pack. Oop, I failed. Mega fail. It's upside down. All right, let us go for electricity. Nope, seal. Cause are upside down. All right, so we have, oop, we have the wrapper, cellophane, go, seal energy, a thwacky, pal pad, citrus berry, muna, definitely stalled someone hard when I was using Musharna because I didn't have anything, snom, another grookey, shelter, mawile, a Rosal yamper, and a cloister. All right, moving on to the Sword and Shield Bubble Clash Packs. Let's get these cards off a little bit. There we go. Fire. Hey, look at that. I got it. All right, we have the Polisand, Milo, Turfield Stadium, Shinx. Really Coley, Applin, Hatena, the Carp of Power with the really ugly Pikachu in the background, a Reverse Hollow Heracross, and a Toxtricity V. Nice. So I'm attempting to make a Toxtricity V deck. There's just like a few things that I feel like I'm missing. Or maybe I'm just misplaying. But we'll see how it goes in the next couple of days slash week or two. I might just give up and go back to my fire deck. All right, let's go for water. Nope, psychic. All right, we have psychic energy, Ndidi, charge a bug, metapod, stunky, plafairy, voltorb, nosepass. A Wingle, a Reverse Hollow Surskit, and a Cinderace V. Nice. All right, so this is what I'm basing my new fire deck off of. I did have the Typhlosions, but I am trying to move up in the game world here. So we're doing the Cinderace V and the Cinderace V Max. Too bad it wasn't the alternate art or the rainbow. That would have been nice. They have <clears throat> four of these guys, now five. I just realized he has some pretty thick arms and some really short forearms. 
Doesn't this arm seem shorter than that arm? Maybe it's just the angle. Anyway, that's pretty good. We got two V cards in one box. All right, water. Nope, more psychic. All right, we have a Durant's electrode, tool scrapper, a Galarian Darumaka, Vulpix, Milsery, Galarian Fardfetched, a Galarian Meowth, a Reverse Hollow Ice Q, and a Mandibuzz. All right, last pack for tonight. That is that. Yeah, since we already started. Anyway, we have a Growlithe, an Impidimp, Benelby, Phantop, Treepy, a Reverse Hollow Arcanine, and a Diggersby, and a Reverse Hollow Arcanine, which looks like to be our rare for this one, Morpeko, and a Capacious Bucket. All right, so that wasn't bad. We got the two Polter, Polte, I, I keep on saying Poltergeist. That's probably why I couldn't look at this card when I first started looking at it. But it is a two Poltergeist V, the Cinderace, and the Toxtricity V. And then all the way back in the beginning, as I spoke it into existence, was the Volcanion EX. And then we did get lots of reverse hollows and holographics. Anyway, everyone, that is all for tonight. Don't forget to subscribe, upload the channel videos that you enjoy watching, and I will see you next time.